it is March 1st, which means that I am here to give you an update on everything I've been working on this month. And if you're new here, I do this at the beginning of every month, at least for 2022, I'm doing it at the beginning of each month. And it is to replace my vlogs that I normally do. So it's a chance for me just to connect and tell you what's going on and that type of thing. But before we get started on this update, my name is Chris O'Neill from So The Distance. Thank you for joining me. Please consider subscribing like always. It really does help me out a lot and I appreciate it too. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, the first thing I wanna talk about is my mom. She is doing great. She got a really good report from the doctor. We're still waiting for a few more tests to confirm that she is cancer free, but right now we believe she is. Everything is pointing to her being cancer free. I'm just so grateful for all your prayers and well wishes. We appreciate it so much. It, has helped us through this very difficult time. Next, let's dig into some of the projects I've worked on. So the first one I did was the tutorial on the log cabin quilt, and this was a replica or a second project, I don't know how you wanna say it, of the giveaway quilt that was for Tracy on the sewing channel. So I made another one and I also did the tutorial on that. So if you haven't seen that yet, check it out. I'll put a link to that up here in the corner so you can see that tutorial if you want to. Unfortunately, or fortunately, I'm not sure how you wanna look at it, the uh, giveaway is over, but you can still make the quilt. It's a really fun quilt to make. So I did work on that. I haven't put it all together yet, but I'm hoping to in March. The next thing I worked on uh, is this little guy, which is for St. Patrick's Day. This is part of a series so each month I make a little tiny quilt for in my kitchen and it corresponds with the month and the holidays and everything so uh, this is for St. Patrick's Day and it is hanging normally in my kitchen and it just was really fun to make just a little mini quilt I also made the snap scrap snap quilt and I worked on this this was uh, featured in my vlog last year a few times and I worked on it and I finally finished the top so I want to get that to have it quilted it turned out so pretty I love it so much it's so bright and cheery and wonderful and uh, I love it it has I think 516 eight pieces or something like that in it. And this is a free pattern and a free system. I'll put a link to it in the description so you can learn how to make one yourself if you'd like to. It's a great scrap buster too. I also taught a few classes this month and one of them was the jelly roll race. Uh, if you've never done a jelly roll race, they are so much fun. Uh, here's mine. I did a Christmas one and you really just sew it as it comes off of the jelly roll and I'll put the name of the jelly roll uh, here too so you can see what it is. I can't quite remember what it is but I bought it on sale because of course all the Christmas fabric is on sale right now so I bought this line uh, on sale and this was a lot of fun to make. I think I'm going to just quilt this myself just something very basic maybe some serpentine stitches or something like that. I want to make a few Christmas quilts this year. I don't have many Christmas quilts and I really want to add to my collection of those. I also made this owl quilt and I'll put a picture of it here. I don't have it right now because my mom is actually hand quilting it. Now my mom is not a quilter, but she loves, loves hand work. And I didn't even know this, but she quilted a few quilts for my aunt a few years ago, actually many years ago. So she really loves to do hand quilting. So she has that quilt now. I made this on my AccuQuilt. Uh, this is the owl pattern, if you've ever seen it, it's so cute. I hand buttonhole stitched these little appliques while my mom was going through treatments and it gave me something fun and cute to do while I was in a very stressful time in my life. And I just love how this turned out. I love all the little owls. I love how I made their eyes looking all different ways and their wings are different. And it was just a fun, whimsical project to help some of the stresses that we were going through in the fall. So it's been a lot of fun to make. And it's so nice that she's hand quilting it because now it's like a whole memory quilt of uh, this experience but also the time we spent together driving back and forth to treatment and all of that. So it's very special to me and I can't wait for it to be finished. It's gonna turn out beautiful and I'm gonna hang it I think right over here in my sewing room. And lastly, <laughs> I had some bumps in the road this month. I recorded a tutorial on these little bags. You can see them and they're made from a panel 
and then I was getting ready to publish the tutorial and noticed there was a copyright on the panel. This is by Lazy Girls Designs, by the way. It's called the runaround bag. Anyway, I had about 20 hours into this tutorial and I saw the copyright and I contacted the company to find out if I could make this panel as a tutorial and they declined. They said I could not. Unfortunately, all that hard work of making the video and getting everything ready and the tutorial and making the samples and everything, had to all be deleted and I couldn't use it. Ugh. So if you're ever making videos, make sure you check with the copyright. I didn't want to break any rules or anything like that. I definitely want to respect the copyright laws and I know that patterns take a long time to write and to make and everything. So I never want to take that from anybody. Uh, but if you ever are in the market for this really cute panel, uh, like I said, it's the runaround purse. It's really fun. It comes in two different colorways and it's a super easy little project to make and they're a lot of fun. And then finally, the biggest thing that happened this month is my cutting table. It is in my room. It's huge. It's wonderful. And I'm going to take you on a little tour of it now. Okay, so here it is. It is 40 by 70. It's huge. And uh, as you can tell that it's not quite finished. <laughs> we have the finished work to do. He's going to be putting the uh, drawer fronts on. We have the cabinets, which I'll show you in a minute. They're getting doors too, but I have already started filling some of the drawers <laughs> as I'm using this um, cutting table. And we put these clips on so we're able to open these. I'm not sure what I'm storing in here yet, but right now I'm just putting a few different things in it. So let me walk you around it. He put this laminate top and then trimmed it in this oak. This is also going to get uh, stained and then the cabinets are going to be painted too. And this is uh, some shelves in, that's going to get some doors on them and they're adjustable shelves. And it is on wheels so I'm going to turn it around here. And you can see I have some other stuff put into these uh, cubbies. This is also going to have doors and shelves in here. I'm thinking about doing a pegboard or something on this panel here. And then let's flip it around. I'll show you the other end. I just got this stool at Hobby Lobby, but I think it's a little too high, so it might be going back. Uh, there are also two drawers here, and I'll be able to have a stool so I can sit here and work and uh, even make videos and everything like that. So I absolutely love it. I love the wheels. Uh, the wheels lock, but it also turns really well. And um, I just, I love it. It's so cool. I can't wait for it to be finished. I can't wait to share it with you. Isn't it wonderful? I love using it. It's so great. I love that it's on wheels. It's just an awesome piece of furniture. And I can't wait to see all the other pieces that he will be making for this room. And just to watch it all come together. As always, thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you have any questions for me, please let me know. I do try my best to respond to comments and uh, I hope you have a wonderful month full of tons of projects. Oh, one last thing before I go. Uh, it is, I think it's the 19th of March or the 17th. I'm not sure, I'll check and I'll put it up on here on the screen, uh, is National Quilting Day. So there will be a lot of like, sales and promotions and stuff like that. So be on the lookout for that. I believe this is also considered National Quilting Month too. So I'm assuming a lot of the shops, even your local quilt shops will have some sales. Be on the lookout for them and any other special events happening this month. As always, thank you so much for joining me and I will see you soon. Make sure you take some time to sew. Bye.